Hi right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna be trying something new today. I'm gonna try something I think I'm gonna call Throwback Corner, where we talk about different things we did throughout the years. And one of the things we did was went on vacation. Do you remember what it was? Which one? We went on so many. All right, so we're gonna talk about the first one we did in 2021, which was Temptation Resort in Cancun, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how it started? Well, my big birthday. What big birthday was it? Mm, a big one. What big birthday was it? A special one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so obviously. Let's just say special. She don't want to tell you her age, but. Happy birthday, Panchita. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And um, COVID was still rampant. It still is rampant. But it was actually worse back then because the vaccines just came out. It was only given to first responders and everything. And it was during the height of, I believe, the second or third wave. And I didn't want her to stay home and do nothing on her special birthday. Blow it out. <laughs> so she's like, well, I'm not going anywhere that I could get da 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 da. So I said, all right, I understand. I said, well, Mexico's open. And even though we've been to a lot of places, we've never been, there. Never been to Mexico. So I said, you know what? What about Mexico and what you said? As long as it's a party resort. Thank you. So I decided to Google. And the first thing I did was I Googled party resort in Cancun, Mexico. Because also, I also knew that Cancun was not have any restrictions or curfews. They didn't need a PCR test or anything like that. Uh, Mexico never really closed. So Google party resorts, two came up. Temptation and Rio. And um, Temptation seemed to have the best reviews. Really didn't know much about it. So once I found out about Temptation Resorts, I watched a couple of YouTube videos about it. And I know of a place where you never get harmed. A magical place with magical well, charm. What Temptation Resort really means. Made her watch the same videos. And then you were still down to go, right? I was ready. Now, what made you feel like, what about Temptation didn't it scare you? Didn't scare me? Well, a lot of people, when they see the Temptation videos, because obviously Temptation, and you guys know now, is a lifestyle-friendly resort. When I say lifestyle-friendly, I mean there are swingers who do go to the resorts. There are people who are in the lifestyle that go to the resort, but it's not heavily promoted or heavily pushed like resorts like Hedonism. So, why did Temptation itself in this case? Is it because it didn't seem forced or pushed on you? I think it's just the fact that it was just more like, it felt like a vibe. It felt like it was more of a party rather than it being about swing. So, I think the fact that I just thought I was going to have fun and not more being pushed into a another thing that it was about right so basically she saw the videos saw people say that anything in temptation won't happen unless you allow it to consent is a big thing there we decided to give it a shot given the fact that it was a resort where we didn't have to leave if we wanted a party we'll party right there if we want to drink we drink right there we felt that it would stop the exposure of outside elements for covid and like i said good thing about temptation also you spend more than three days there. They give you a free PCR test for you to come back. So, we booked it. Uh, one mistake I did make, I booked through the website. I suggest you do not do that. Uh, if you do decide to go book through booking.com, they give you cheaper rates. You're able to reserve your room. And you don't have to pay the full amount of the resort until you actually get there. Booking only requires that you have to pay for one night a month before you show up. So if you cancel, you only have to pay that one night. So uh, I booked through the website, regret it, booking.com, a lot better. Um, so we booked it and got an email. And the email told us that every night in Temptation is a theme party, right? Yeah. Um, so what theme party excited you the most? I don't know. That's hard because they were all really good. They were all really good. Um, 
I think Neon Knight. Neon Knight. Well, luckily for us, they emailed us at least a month prior to us showing up there and had uh, itinerary every day of what party was going to be. So we knew way in advance exactly uh, what costumes to buy. And most of the the costume we bought was on Amazon. I came up with some great ideas. I'm going to post some pictures on here to have an idea of all the different costumes you wore and stuff like that. time got on our flight like i said didn't have pcr test we actually bought four suitcases one suitcases for all the stuff we we're gonna wear one was all costume mm -hmm. and one was all clothing <laughs> pretty much uh we got there we ordered a show didn't order a show through the resort because it was a little bit more pricey went through a private company i think it was violator um i think it was 60 dollars round trip you know take you there take you back great company worked out very well mm -hmm. Um, the minute we got there, they take your temperature, you wash your foot, concierge comes, takes your bags, put it to the side, and then they have a lady or a guy approach you and tell you what to expect at this resort. A guide. No, we had a lady. The guide. Oh, a guide. Oh, sorry. Did you say guy? <laughs> yeah, a guide, pretty much. Um, gave us your first welcome drink, which is pretty strong and good, and then you kind of get there and they tell you what to expect, the rules or whatever, whatever. And I remember we came out to the balcony and saw the landscape of the pool. And decided, all right, we're going to take a picture. But we also had to make sure those security guards do not play. If you take a picture of the sexy pool or, or anybody's consent, they're on you to delete it. So we made sure we took a nice little picture of the sign, say we're here and everything. Yeah. And then we looked over into the pool. And what was your first reaction when you looked over to that pool? Crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Crazy. Um, as you should know, Temptation is a topless optional pool. They do have another pool that's not topless optional. They it's a, 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 a PG-13 pool. That pool's always empty. Everybody goes to the main sexy pool, which is topless optional. First thing we saw where they had um, party hosts out there um, playing a game. And the game was two girls, one guy, going into the pool, trying to get as much bikini tops and men's string trunk as possible to bring onto the stage. And whoever brings the most wins the game. Now, you're probably telling yourself, I don't want to take off my bikini. I don't want to take off my string trunks. Yeah, they ask you to. They go to you and say, can I have it? Because you know they're playing the game. You can say yes or no. So people willingly gave them their tops, their bottoms, as they swim through trying to get as most to beat each other. They get onto stage, they had the pile. I believe one of the females won. She was decided she was happy. Boom. You think the game was over? No. Because now everybody's bikini tops and guys' swim trunks are now on the stage where they ask them to come back and receive it. Girls, no problem, came up there, got it, did a little show, crowd claps. All different shapes and sizes, by the way, didn't matter. Yeah, all different shapes and sizes didn't matter. It was time for the first guy to come get his swim trucks. My man did not want to come out there. He's telling them to go back to him. No, 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 no. When you gave them your clothes, you told them you were in this game. So you had to get out and get your swim trunks. He didn't want to get out and get his swim trunks. They played that song, that baseball song. Did it? Did it? Did it? Oh. And my man threw his swim trunks and threw it on top of a bar stand where they actually have to get a ladder to get it. Once my man went up there and saw that his things was gone, no other guy had a problem getting their swim trunks. They came out there covering, went up there and got their swim trunks. Like I said, you're part of the game. We saw that, we understood this was the type of vibe this place was. 
um, the lady talked to us, got it situated. Um, one thing I regret, we kind of got there early, like super early. Like we think we got the first flight to Mexico. Yeah. And our room was definitely not ready till 3 o'clock. And because we weren't better prepared, we kind of just stayed there and got ordered drinks. We still had access to everything, but um, next time we'll definitely make sure our swim gear is close. So we can throw it on, go into the pool, and then whenever the room is ready, it's ready. Yeah. Get to the room. Room's beautiful. Room's gorgeous. I'm gonna put that in the video. show you guys how that looks and um oh and i think the hostess also made sure that we had to do a tour uh, a timeshare guide it's required for everybody's first time there time share tour. yeah timeshare tour it's required for everybody's first time there you had to do it we decided to do it the next day get it over with i loved our room our room was the best we had the best room all right if you want to know we got the room in the bash tower which is the actually we wanted to get a suite since it was her special birthday but to be amazed the suite got sold out because i waited last minute but we got a bash tower which is the room low uh the, a tier lower beautiful room but the bash tower is where it is it's shaped in the u as you can see from the video where it was just a fun time. Easy access to the pool, easy access to leave. Um, very smooth, modern look, but you, like I said, you're just gonna see it when I post the uh, video. Yeah. Um, pretty much, then we took a nap because we, <laughs> we were tired. Took a nap, went back out the, the later that night uh, because I believe the first night was sexy lingerie. Lingerie night. Yep, sexy lingerie night. <laughs> and we got there, I think, like 10 o'clock, and it was boring. Because nobody gets there that early, and I think they were a show. There was a show. I, the first thing I noticed was nobody had on costumes. Yeah, at ten o'clock, no one was dressed. Right, and they had a little show going on, and we were like, "All right, no." Then we went back in the room, went back to sleep. I think every night there's a pre-show before the costume. Right. So I think it starts at ten, and there's like a show going on, but people start showing up dressed about maybe midnight. Right. So we get back down, great time. A little weird, like I said, because not everybody's in their lingerie. You know, like I said, all, all shapes and sizes, nobody cared. Everybody's drinking, having fun, having shots. You met some cool people, mm -hmm. which then you end up taking a lot more shots, then a lot more shots. <laughs> then you went on stage and took some more shots. It was like everybody's birthday over there. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then I remember I was talking to this other couple and, um, I'm looking at you and you're on stage, you're dancing, you went to it, and then I see you do a little, I was like, uh oh, came over to you, asked if he was okay. 
She wasn't okay. October 11th, October 12th, and 13th, and 14th, I was intoxicated. I drank all of those days. I drank in excess. One thing they tell you, don't worry, guys. If you get a little too drunk, they got their own Uber. It's a wheelchair. <laughs> and I couldn't carry her back to the room. So we got the Uber, the wheelchair Uber, and was able to bring her back to her room safely. But, of course, people... I don't, don't know what he's talking about. Uh, of course, people, you know, don't forget this because... For the next couple of days of the trip, every time they saw her, they did the little wheelchair dance. Make sure she was gay. But trust me, she wasn't the first. It made she, me popular for the week. She wasn't the first and she wasn't the last person I saw in a wheelchair on that vacation. There's some people who got wheelchaired out who I thought was dead. But then they came back to life a couple of hours later <laughs> and went back to the pool for some more damage. But yeah, yeah, it was a great time. So then um, the next day after you sobered up, we had some breakfast, which was pretty good. And then we went and did the timeshare tour, which the guy was actually pretty cool. That's probably the reason why I told him I probably stayed for the whole tour. I felt bad saying no. Yeah, yeah, but, but it, you know, a lot of people I think regret doing the timeshare. So, in my personal opinion, don't do it. But I love my souvenir. Oh yes, they did give you a souvenir. They gave her a temptation, uh, shot, uh, temptation tequila. Um, they gave. Give you like any time share to give you the sense of to go, so that was cool. And the guy wasn't really pushy, I think he already knew from the beginning we were gonna say no, you know, they can do that. But one more thing, but wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a scream. But one more thing, and one more thing, but you know, we told him no. But what was cool about it, he let us know certain rules and stuff about temptation. Like I said, since it's lifestyle friendly. There's some people who don't go for the lifestyle, but there's some people who go there for the lifestyle, which I didn't know different things you wear means different things. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, which is funny because she had that thing, mm -hmm. and when she found out about it, she made sure it was in the bottom of her suitcase, but pineapples. So, pineapples mean that you are a swinger. And you had a... A whole pineapple one-piece jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. When she found out that pineapple meant you were a swinger, that thing went to the bottom of the suitcase. Um, that was one. Uh, Nameplates, I believe. And that's only because that was people who were into group um, activities. And if you're into group activities, the nameplates was so they will remember... Your name. Also, a black spade, like a playing card. Black spade means that you like big black things. So, all these things I realized, oh. And after learning this, you go to the pool, you start noticing it. Oh, and unicorns, forgot unicorn. Being fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Being fluffy unicorns dancing. You only like females. 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 You only want a female. You only want to add a female. That's about the unicorn. So now going back to the pool later on that day after we told them no, you saw unicorns, you saw the pineapple bathing suits. That's when we started noticing all the pineapples that were surrounding us Pine yep. everywhere. Yep, yep. We didn't notice it before. They didn't notice it <laughs> till, till that night. Then um, again, I think the next night, I forgot, we had costumes for every party. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm going to post it there, but it was another party where better this time came back, didn't drink as much. Met the same group of people. We found out people were there for weeks. People were there was two months. But every, they were so friendly in that vibe, you know. It, it was cool. And like I said, I met couples who went to the secret sweet parties every night and got their, you know, thing on. And we weren't about that. But, you know, we had fun. Same way. And there were some people who go out every night and do their thing. And, yeah. and some people who just go there for parties. And there's some people who just tamed and, and they'll do nothing and just watch. So... It was um, a good time. So there's another thing that people uh, uh, I was told her about, which I was surprised. She said, "Let's do this," and that was the boobs cruise, not booze, boobs. Cruise. Yeah. Boobs cruise. You know, and actually, it's funny because we got there, and we met so many people. They really didn't know about it, and we were like, 
promoting it. We were like, yo, come to the boobs cruise. And, you know, we were like, come on, buy tickets. And we will lead them over there because you meet so many good people. It's like you want to keep the party going. I remember there was one beautiful woman there. We used to call her um, pretty things because we only saw her with the things. And I think I saw her one time with clothes on and... I didn't remember how she looked. But, like, we, I think we recruited her to go. We recruited yeah. so many people to go. And everybody was hungover already. Yeah, because the cruise left at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, another thing. There's a Starbucks literally across the street from the resort. This one, Starbucks queen, walked across that street every morning yeah. for coffee. Yeah, my family is concerned. They're, they're concerned because of how much debt I'm in. You know what? I'm actually out of Starbucks right now, so I just need, I just need, I can't even... I can't eat it without my Starbucks. For coffee. And they take your Starbucks for walk points, so, you know, she was in heaven. Yeah. Um, we get there, and everybody's hungover, but they had a quick little system. We paid for everything. And um, if you've been to Cancun before, you know all the boats leave from the same location. And there was another line of people going to a different cruise, but that was like a regular PG-13 cruise. For the ones that just want a PG. Yeah. yeah, there's PG. Yeah, you can go to Temptation and just have you know, right? Regular party. But then our cruise comes because you know people from other resorts are going to different yacht parties. Our boat comes, and my man shows up with padded freight breast. He had a giant rubber, you know, unicorn <laughs> on his hat, um, cursing. Let's get this effing party started. Music blasting. And the boat just rolls up. And people going on a regular cruise looked at us like, what the hell? And the girls start going on a cruise. And my man was waiting there. And the girls just start taking off their tops and handing it to them. And he takes their tops and he ties it to the sail of the boat. And they pouring out liquor before you even get on the boat. And I remember one guy looked at me and he's like, I think I'm on the wrong cruise. I'm going to go on your cruise. And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. It's sold out. I want to go! <laughs> you know, and it was a good time. Um, once again, same rules like Temptations. Whatever you want to happen, you let it happen. Whatever you don't want to happen, you don't want to happen. Was the majority of women topless? Yes, the majority of women was topless. But there was one or two that wasn't because they weren't a part of it. So you didn't feel forced. And you could be topless. It was half the women who were topless wore pasties. So, you know, and, you know, there were some guys that were naked, you know. And it was what it was. And the majority of people on there... Our couples, um, majority, uh, uh, the majority on the booze cruise were couples. Uh, the majority of women was either couples. There were groups of women. Um, there was like one or two single guys, and he got pointed out because the boat knows. He asks, "Is there anybody out here who did not cover somebody?" There's always one creeper. There was my man did not cover nobody, and I made sure he had a creeper hat, so everybody knew he was a creeper. Yeah. But it was a, a good time. Only downside, they get you super drunk, and then they show up to, uh, what's the name of that beach they showed up? It's, um, Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres, for your lunch, right? And you're naked, you're drunk, you're having a good time, you show up to Isla Mujeres, and they say, yeah, put back on your clothes. <laughs> this, this is a family beach, and you're like, what? And then you go on your clothes, and you're like, drunk, and you try and get some food, and then you wait for this... We got to come back because back and you get naked again. But that was the only thing. Like, it was so annoying to put back on clothes to go be with family to then get back. But whatever. It was a good time. Um, I think another guy got wheelchaired out of there. He, he was a little drunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little drunk. Uh, <laughs> a little drunk? A <laughs> little drunk. And I think, was that the actual day of your birthday? Was the cruise? Or was it the next day? No, I think it was the next day. I think it was the, the next, next day. day. Yeah. And uh, we went to the Hibachi restaurant. Real good food. Everything about Temptation. The food is amazing. Hibachi restaurant we went to, amazing. What is there, eight? A total of eight restaurants? No. There is a total of eight, but at the time we go, some of them were closed because of COVID. Yeah. So it was... But the, there is eight. There is eight, eight. but eight wasn't open when we went there. Right. But they had Hibachi, a great restaurant. They had Italian, mm-hmm. great restaurant. They had Sea Flirt, which was basically seafood, great restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, They had the um, She... Which is okay, but that was the one for my birthday. Yes, yes. They do, they do a show. Right, they do a burlesque type show, no nudity, burlesque type show. But the food is mostly uh, fancy, um, aphrodisiac. 
Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. <laughs> Aphrodisiac food. Airplane. Airplane. Close enough. Which it was a little too weird for me, but the show was amazing. Um, the food, drinks, amazing, amazing, amazing. But um, I have to say, overall, the the trip and the temptation was great. We met some great friends, some great people. But I want to give you guys some advice. Um, majority of people in temptation are couples. The majority, I will say. 80% are couples. I will say another 15% are groups of females. I saw a bachelorette group really? came in with 15 girls. Yeah. I saw a group of like six or seven female friends. Um, I saw a couple come in with like three different girlfriends. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the nation, like I'll say 95% are couples and groups of females. There are single guys, mm -hmm. but they're not groups of single guys. Might be one or two, two or three, four, but not a huge group. Right. Now, can a single guy go to Temptation and have fun? Yes. It depends on your personality and what you're looking for. If you're looking to just have drinks and have a good time and party, that's fine. Um, if you want to go somewhere more with that, you have to have a personality. You have to talk. You have to mingle. You can't stay in there and look like a creep. Outspoken, ready to party, mingle, exactly. talk to other people. Old Mac from way back. <laughs> One of the original players <laughs> from the Himalaya. But overall, the majority of people that go to Temptation are couples. And you'll be surprised. It's also gay friendly. So, if we met people that were gay couples, LGTBQ, we met people that were lesbians. Um, actually, I got hit on by a gay guy and my wife left me. She thought it was hilarious. The gay guy was hitting on me pretty hard. I, I, I told him, thank you, sir, but I'm straight. Um, he looked at her and was like, why your husband don't want me? And she just laughed. And I said, sir, I appreciate your compliment, but I'm a straight man. I turned around to look for my wife and she swum to the other side of the pool and left me. I But <laughs> there are um, gay men, uh, gay females. Everybody shows love. There's no hate in nothing at all. Very pro-friendly. Um, like I said, lifestyle friendly. If you don't want to be part of lifestyle, you don't have to. Like I said, we really didn't do anything there. But um, it was just so cool to see how free some people could be. Yeah. Also, it's lifestyle friendly, not hedonism. Because we do know somebody who got kicked out the pool. Mm -hmm. Because she thought she could do some extra things in the pool that weren't allowed. So, like I said, if you want to do all the extra stuff, you go to your room. <laughs> um, another fun thing, I know you remember this. There was a couple that was like two rooms from us. And every night they were making our wall shake. I mean, the girl acted like she was screaming like she was going to die. Die of pleasure. <laughs> and every time we left the room, the room was open to crack. I think that was her way to invite other people to join. I did not want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> but um, like I said, overall, Temptation is a great vibe. Anything else you want to add? Oh, my God. That room service is amazing. Okay. You could just go on TV, pull up the menu, and just order everything. It's like a buffet in your room. And uh, do you remember how much they charge you? Zero. Actually... They charge you zero if you stay at the Bash Tower. They charge you $5 if you stay anywhere else. Right. So, <laughs> we were going ham, just like ordering everything, just to try it. So, so, when you were booking my room and you were trying to make my birthday so special, what was the reason that you picked the Bash Tower? What about the Bash Tower made it so special that you wanted to make it perfect for me? Well, the Bash Tower um, is centrally located at a resort, which at the time, I didn't know. I just picked bash tower because it was a nice room but once i got there i realized well the bash tower once you enter the resort the elevator to your left takes you straight to your room um you get out the elevator go straight down the hallway there's the restaurants there's the party there's the sexy pool if you stay by the garden view or the any other towers they have you actually have to walk a pretty good distance to get to these areas or walk two three four flights of steps to get to your floor <laughs> Um, and that was the reason we found out that later because we went to visit friends in the middle of the night drunk 
to knock on their door and tell them to come party. Yep. And we had to walk through many stairs. And I drunk. said, no, no, <laughs> never. No, 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 no. Bash Tower for All life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Bash Tower for life. But um, also, um, what do you think was your favorite food there? Late at night, after we party, what did you always get? Oh my God, those tacos. <laughs> they have a taco bar <laughs> right there by the pool. It's like all night long. Mm-hmm. And it's insane. And this woman, she likes tacos, but she doesn't even like corn tacos. And I didn't care. She did not care. <laughs> the Mexican tacos were the They were truth. life. <laughs> um, also, if you forget anything there, there is a um, convenience store that's in there. But everything's like but the costumes. Yeah, yeah, but everything's like double the price. Like, right. don't do it. Um, your experience when we went and got a COVID test. How was that? Man, so I've had several COVID tests, and that by far was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they go all the way in. They want to make sure they really get that test on <laughs> I saw tears. Um, but good thing about it is once you take the test, like I said, it's included. <laughs> and you get your result back in like an hour, but you can print it out from the yeah. computer. Um, am I missing anything else? Um, also, what else did you like about the resort? Like, What else stuck out to you that made you say, you know what? That room service is everything. Mm. I mean, you go in that TV, you get that menu, and you can literally order everything. Everything. What do you think about the staff? The 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 workers there, the bartenders, the everybody's super nice. Also, make sure you tip your bartender. Yeah. Every night, I slipped my man twenty, gave him a little dap, and they didn't forget us. Did not. Just pointed. Had me and my wife drinks ready. Boom. Yeah. But I think that's just common sense. Everybody who's been yeah. to resorts should know. Yeah, but everybody's just nice regardless. Like, I, I didn't have an issue with anyone. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you met friends there that you will have for the rest of your life? I mean, it. we went February. Mm-hmm. It's going to be almost a year. I still am in touch with a lot of people who are actually, might even be coming back with us. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, you can make good friends there. You can have a good time, and you don't have to be participate in things you don't want to. You could just go there, have a good time, party, get dressed up, have fun all day, have fun all night. You can even leave the resort and go to other parties and have a good time. I mean, I never did because we used to get so drunk that we were like, but our room is... We got invited. People told us to come down to downtown yeah. Mexico. But we got so drunk, and I'm like, but our room is, like, <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we wanted to get dressed up every night and mm-hmm. enjoy the resort for once. I mean, we never do resorts. Yeah. This was our first resort, actually. No. What our was... third. We... Cuba. Yeah, but our first resort where we stayed the whole time. Yeah. yeah right. We usually will travel and go to a resort and stay a day or two. Yeah, this no, is the no. first time we've been to a resort where we actually... Went to a resort, stayed the whole stay at a resort, and didn't want to actually leave the resort. Oh, but and, and and this is another thing. This resort resort's gonna spoil me because now I'm gonna go to no basic resort. Or I'm gonna go to Hot Rock when I could go to, you know, Temptation and see some boobs and some drinks and some music and some fun. And I don't need to leave the resort. Mm-hmm. To me, that's what made that resort special. Mm-hmm. And when we did that tour, we met other people from their resorts. Their resorts were empty, it looked yeah. boring, it looked dry. You're right. When we went to Tulum on our excursion. We met people who were at other resorts, and we told them about our resort, and they were like, oh, we're bored at our resort. We don't have parties. We don't have that many restaurants. Mm-hmm. We don't have fun like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wish we were at your resort. Also, if you are scared of COVID, do not go to Temptation, <laughs> because we we were going there all prepared to have a mask on. That lady said, well, the workers have to wear their masks, but you don't have to. That... Mask off, oh, like yeah. like 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 uh, future. Mask off, yeah. and um. Only when we leave the resort, though. When you leave, carry a mask. Yeah, when you leave, if you're gonna definitely. get on the bus, if you're gonna go anywhere else outside of the resort, 
carry your mask when yeah. you leave the resort. Um, there are hand sanitizers everywhere. everywhere. They spray things down everywhere. I mean, the elevator just smells like bleach every time you go into it. So they are clean. They're not reckless like that. But like I said, the point of temptation is to meet people, interact with people. So if you're scared of COVID, I mean, like I said, it's a lifestyle-friendly resort. So you can't go to a lifestyle-friendly resort and think you're going to keep six feet of distance. But, you know. um, It's a party resort. For your, for, uh, I'll ask you a question for the females who subscribe to my channel. As you as a female going to this type of event, did you felt like you were sexually harassed or pressured to do anything you do not, didn't want to do? Absolutely not. Never. Like, <laughs> if anything, I feel like I was pressuring people. <laughs> <laughs> um, not at all. Um. Actually, there were a couple times where I was dancing with um, other guys, because everybody's cool over there, and they actually asked you permission if it was okay. Like, they would mm. come near me and want to dance and mm. hug me, and they're like, is that okay with him? Or they would ask you, is that okay that I hugged her? Everybody's super respectful. Mm. Nobody disrespects you in any way. Mm. Um, consent. Everybody always everybody. consent. Everybody. As a matter of fact, they're very strict with taking pictures. So you can't just have your phone out and take pictures of anyone. So mm -hmm. when you want to take pictures of a group or other people, ask first. Right. So, they, those security guards will jump out like, like the, they yeah. saving the president. No! They and block come it. out of... You'll think no one's around watching you and you're getting ready to click that photo and they just mm -hmm. jump out of like... Right. A lot of photos... Right. Of. A lot of photos I took... I called the security guard over. I showed him it's only yeah. her, only the background. Right. And then they say, okay, and I'll take the picture. But if they see you willy-nilly with your phone, they're going to take that phone and they're going to make you delete yeah. those photos. Yeah, um, when we took the group photo um, one night, there was one party where we took a group photo and the guy came over and was like, sorry, no photos. And I said, mm. I looked to the people and I said, did I not ask for consent? And they said, yes. And then the guy said, okay, and walked away. So they're very strict. The phone party, um, we don't even have pictures of that. No, we have a couple. Um, I have one where you were in the phone, and I made the guy look over the and show. Guy came, that's the thing, though. Mm -hmm. We have one photo of me and my head peeking out of the phone, but the guy literally ran over and was like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And he had to show him the picture, and mm -hmm. then that's why we were able to keep like one picture of my head. Yep. But, yeah, it's they're very strict. So you don't have to worry about, oh, if I'm walking around topless, people are going to have my picture. Mm -mm. It's not that easy. People just can't walk around taking pictures of people right. because they're not allowing it. So right. you're okay with that. Right. But people are very respectful. People are very friendly. The staff goes out of the way to make sure you're happy. Like, and it's really a vibe. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's because everyone is truly drunk all day, mm -hmm. but it's just so much fun. It was awesome because you can stand outside and just have so much entertainment just oh. from standing outside right <laughs> oh, so funny story it was her birthday she got so drunk at the phone party which is the best party of the night you don't need to share that much. yes yes she got so drunk at the phone party that you called your, your you your mother called you to wish you happy birthday and you don't remember what conversation we had anyway Great way to sober up. Didn't I miss my fancy birthday dinner as well? Yeah, miss your fancy birthday dinner. I went out the way to get a fancy birthday dinner. I miss it. But um, we were drunk. And we wanted to sober up. And we never used the jacuzzi that's actually on our balcony from the video you saw. So got the jacuzzi high and wedding. Me and her just stayed in the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Had some wine. And just watched the balcony and you got a show there's some people who like to be seen and they made sure they were seen on the balcony i saw one guy holler at some chick and my man actually climbed from his balcony to the next balcony i thought he was gonna die he made it i'm thinking they're gonna call security nope they accepted him into their bosoms of love <laughs> um one of my good friends i i met out there uh i was actually watching him being entertained by another female and uh, I saw him later that night, and we laughed because he said, "Oh, I was wondering who was watching me." And I said, "Yes, that was me and my wife. We were watching you. <laughs> you we were know, all watching each other. We're all watching each other. But you know, it's a great time. Like I said, uh, stories like that you can only get 
at Temptation. And guess what, people? We're actually going back in December. So we might have to do a part two this time in live and in color. But uh, yeah. once again, did I miss anything else? Or think I, Oh, the most boring part of the trip, when we actually left the resort and went to go do a freaking tour at the... Tulum. Tulum, the Aztec temple, where the guy wanted to teach us mathematics and how the Aztecans broke down math and made gum. I'm like, dude, I just want to take pictures for Instagram. Can we just keep it going? <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's beautiful. It's just that all the talking. Oh, my God. If you're going to go get a good tour guide, our guy wanted yeah. to give us mathematical equations. No, no, no. I wanted pictures for Instagram. But besides that, our uh, time at Tetation was beautiful. So much so that the minute I came back in February, the minute we landed, I booked again for December. So yeah. we're going back. And, um, yeah. Well, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, I think we're going to do more throwback corners. Tell me what you think. Um, besides that, you know. Like, subscribe, hit that alert button, alert, alert, alert button, hit that alert button, yes, 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 and once again, guys, till next time, love, peace, and joy, I think that was from Soul Train, but whatever. <laughs>